A common question in the Create Studio Facebook group is where can you find childlike AI voices? This tutorial will share how to generate children's voices using AI. Keep watching and Randy and Patrick will show you how. Hey, are you kids trying to take over my job? No, Patrick, we are not looking to steal your job. Not yet anyway. This is Randy. And Patrick. And Isaac. With more no! Create Studio 3 tips. Childlike AI voices are hard to find. I suspect that may be because in the world today, some people will use them for nefarious reasons. It is sad, but I understand why AI sites have decided not to provide children voices. To get to the AI voices in Create Studio 3, click on the music icon, then select Speech. In all the AI voices provided, I found that Gigi is the only voice that sounds like a child. Let's give a listen. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. That's pretty good, and the key word for her voice is young. But when I try other young voices, they are young adults or teens, not children. A man sees in the world what he carries in his heart. Never mistake motion for action. I did find two other voices that sound like teenagers. They are Ellie and Hayden. Dreams come true. Without that possibility, nature would not incite us to have them. I have never been hurt by anything I didn't say. I want to see if I can convert their voice to a child by increasing the pitch. But if you notice, there is no option to change pitch for the AI voices. The Google Voices does have a pitch slider, but increasing pitch on a robotic adult voice only creates a robotic child voice. So why isn't pitch available for Create Studio AI voices? Well, if you watch my tutorial on where the AI voices come from, link provided in the description. You know that Create Studio voices come from Eleven Labs. When you look at the Eleven Labs website, you can see that they do not provide a pitch controller, which is why there isn't one in Create Studio. There are some text-to-speech AI providers that do have pitch control. And if you have one that generates good, childlike voices, would you leave a comment so that I or others can benefit from your experience? I recently discovered a free one for Windows users. It is a feature with their free ClipChamp video editor, and they allow pitch changes on the voices. This is not a tutorial on ClipChamp, so let's see how to change pitch for the Create Studio 3 AI voices. Here is Gigi, Ellie, Hayden, and three male voices all saying the same phrase. Mom, I left my backpack at school! Mom, I left my backpack at school! Mom, I left my backpack at school. 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 Let me back up and show how the audio clips made it to the timeline. Open the text-to-speech panel, type in what you want said, select the character, and then click on Generate Speech. Mom, I left my backpack at school. After previewing, click on Import to add the audio to your project. Create Studio will open the media panel where the audio file is added. Now all we need to figure out is where Create Studio is storing these audio clips on your computer. I named my Create Studio project Young AI Voices, which is located in a directory called Children Voices. When I click on the project folder, you will notice that in addition to the project file, there is a media folder. Open the media folder and you will see several FLAC files. These are the audio files of the AI voices created in Create Studio. Now we need a separate audio editor to change the pitch and there is a great free one called Audacity. Whoa, Audacity is awesome. But don't you think it is a bit complicated? Audacity can be overwhelming due to all the things it's able to do, but I will show three easy steps on how to change pitch. First, if you don't have Audacity, download it to your computer. It is completely free. So here are the three steps to change an audio pitch. One, import the audio file. Two, change pitch. And three, export audio. So here I am in Audacity. Let's import the audio file. Click on File, Find and click on Import. Click on Audio, 
Next, tell Audacity where to find the audio file and select one of the FLAC files. To figure out which character this is, I will play the audio by clicking on the green triangle. Mom, I left my backpack at school. This is Alex's voice. Select the audio track by clicking on the select button on the far left of the track. You will notice it turns from gray to white. Now click on effect on the top row. In the pull down menu, select pitch and tempo. Then click on change pitch. The change pitch panel will pop up. There is a lot on this panel, but we are only going to play with a percent change value. I usually start by increasing the audio by 10%. So let's hear what that sounds like by clicking on the preview button. Mom, I left my backpack at school. That does sound younger, but not young enough. So let's try 20%. Mom, I left my backpack at school. Better. So let's try 25%. Mom, I left my backpack at school. Hmm, I think 20% is the best here, but you set the pitch at the value you like. When you find that value, click on the apply button. To save the audio, click on File, then select Export Audio. Tell Audacity which folder and file name you want to save the audio to. Don't forget to click on the Export button. That is all there is to it. So now that we know how to change pitch, let's listen to the voices with a 10, 20, and 30% pitch change. Mom, I left my backpack at school. 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 As mentioned earlier, Alex at 20% sounds best. Here's Harry. Mom, I left my backpack at school. 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 I like the Harry 30% a lot. I am going to use that in future projects. Here's Sam. Mom, I left my backpack at school. 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 Yuck. I don't like any of those. Now let's hear what the female voices sound like. Here's Ellie. Mom, I left my backpack at school. 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 They are all pretty good. Just depends on what age you are shooting for. Here's Hayden. Mom, I left my backpack at school. 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 I really like the 30% Hayden. I will definitely use that in a future project. Here is Gigi. Mom, I left my backpack at school. 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 Okay, the normal Gigi is great. I would not change her pitch at all. That is a great technique for creating child voices. What do you think the younger version of me will sound like? Let's see what happens when I change the pitch of my voice. Let's see what happens when I change the pitch of my voice. Let's see what happens when I change the pitch of my voice. Let's see what happens when I change the pitch of my voice. Hey, that sounds like my six-year-old me. That's proof that not every voice can sound good as a child. What are you talking about? This is how I really sounded like when I was six. Hey, everyone, have a good day and happy creating.